Yes, there's a church where I've been all of my life, where it never has a large membership. You'll see that um, one of our pastors, Reverend Alfred Hazen, was killed for trying to sponsor a voter registration wise um, back in those days. What is the significance or history that Asbury has in Nakedish? As I mentioned earlier, we're the oldest Methodist congregation, black or white, uh, constructed by former slaves. And uh, Asbury has a history of being a part of the Freedmen Bureau School. Um, as you said earlier with the slaves building the church, I know earlier in that time, being a predominantly black church, were there any hardships in the earlier ages? Oh, yes. Money was the first war. <laughs> When um, loans from the conference helped to construct the church, if you stood downtown by the post office, you could see the top of it. Um, but it was the money. It was the money being able to afford the materials and to pay the kind of laborers we need to build it. That's what it really was. I think. What is your favorite memory at the Asbury Church? Mm. I have so many, my dear. <laughs> I have so many. See, well, one of my favorite memories was of when we finally got an organ. And me musically, it climbed. I thought that was a real significant step. But we got an electric organ and with bass pedals. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I mm-hmm. that took me somewhere I had not been before in that church. I have a lot of memories, but that's why what I think that what that stands out in my mind because I wanted it we would ever get there. Because I'd visit cities and talk churches with, with all kinds of orgasms and wished for them. And we got that one with about the ten years old. I'm gonna say that. So talking about the structure of Asbury, I know this is not that's not the original model, but the, I was looking at but it has a house. If I'm not mistaken, that's the house. It's a house, right? Has that always been there or? It was always had one. Oh. We call it the parsonage. I always had a residence right next door to the church, immediately next door to the church. We provide a home without any expense to the pastor. And we always have. And most message churches do. So we saw the windows in the church and we saw they weren't the actual, the, the, you know, first windows. Can you tell us more about the windows? And yeah, the, um, yes, yeah. The people who donated or the people right. there are um, in honor. Right. What? God, we had the new church and been there for some years. We thought we'd like to have stained glass windows. And it was not in our church's budget. And so they opened up an opportunity and a number of us were very pleased to have stained glass windows dedicated to a saint of Asbury who had passed on into the brilliance of the great neon and we wanted them to be ever remembered as a source of light and goodness and of gift in the church.